Hi and welcome to another video. Today has been a good rainy day which makes it a good day to talk about plumbing works. I believe uh, with a series that I've spoken about so far from roofing, blocking up foundation, I haven't spoken about plumbing so I'm going to dedicate today to talk about the plumbing works, what went into the plumbing, the cost of the plumbing, some ideas or some things I'm looking at uh, achieving to be able to harvest plumbing and so on. So without not talking further, let's go ahead and get started. So the plumbing has been in um, I think two parts so far or I'll say three parts the first one which was done for the washroom area let's just head over to the washroom area and see that so here's a washroom and as you can see with it um, for the foundation that is the toilet part as well as the um, drainage and then also for the basin which is going to be here and then also for another drainage which is for the bathroom section and that was done into the concrete of the foundation so the plumber came to do that before the foundation got cast with a concrete after that after the blocking up we had to do the service line which is for the water for the so this this is it that goes all the way here that goes outside and then also we have to fix here yeah, some taps which is going to, so this is going to serve the WC here this is going to serve the basin and then this is going to serve the bathroom area so we had to do this after the block part had been done now the third part is going to be outside which is going to be the gutter so the rain gutter we had to connect pipes all around it so if you look up you notice that we want to have uh, some rain water to be able to use it for the works that is going to be done here so that we don't have to buy so much water and we've been fortunate that it's rained i think for uh, a day now so we've been able to have uh, some of the rain so you can see this and then also over here we have two dropping out here as well so if you take a good look, you notice that we connect, reconnected that one all the way to join this one here. Now, I'll tell you the reason why we have two dropping out here. Ideally, it should have been, yeah, I think maybe we should have connected that to the other one or make it one. Yeah, and then we there's one in front which connects to this and then comes all the way to join it. So, because the bathroom and then the toilet area is around this section, and the kitchen is also around this section it makes it easier to have a distribution point around here which is going to serve this places um, before i even continue with that you can see that these are the pipes for the drainage as well as for the toilet that comes out and then that's of the kitchen drainage also comes out from there then you have the service line or the service pipe which is over there that goes up there hasn't been connected yet from here and this one also drops out from here which serves with the toilet and then the bathroom area so the idea for this section is that we want to have a metal stand which is going to be about four feet because the width from here to the outside part i'm just cut this way instead the width from here to the wall is, is not so big it's like about yeah i think about four feet or so from here and then from here i think it's about five feet or so so maybe you might have to take the size of the metal into consideration the idea is to have a metal which is going to be of a height like this maybe like about five or six feet high and then we have a poly tank on top of it so that's a small size poly tank uh, i don't know what how many liters that would be because i haven't checked that yet so we connect these um drop out into the poly tank so once it rains, we have uh, some rains, rain water into the poly tank. And then that poly tank is going to serve both the kitchen and uh, the, the bathroom or the toilet area. 
as part of that also because sometimes the rainwater is not so clean we would be using a filter so a water fi filter which is going to be filtering the water which is going to be going to um, those um, or these areas so that we wouldn't have to spend so much money and you notice that with this particular idea we wouldn't need any water pump or anything because this is on a high um, you know high ground and gravity is going to make it easier for water to be distributed into these uh, two parts so basically that is the idea for the water system which is part of the whole plumbing work so I'm sure you might also be interested in getting to know the cost for the plumbing work so far um, for the materials we spent about 980 cities and then for labor we've spent um, 700 cities for that so the materials comprises of the, the pipes the glue the bands everything and then also the works that was done so the foundation part the, after the blocking up the uh, plumber came to do it's um, the service line the rest inside and then also connection of these um, rain gutters so we have the water dropping at certain points so basically that has gone into the plumbing works as part of that um, there's one thing I have realized or noticed about I think most not most but some um, Ghanaian artisans especially the plumbers they don't some don't use tape measures and given maybe materials they are supposed to purchase and the rest they just look at it and then they give you that maybe you should buy this quantity which is um, not so good in a sense that um, at the end of the day one thing I realized especially working on the ring gutters is that the plumber didn't take he didn't measure he just takes the pipe he measures with the pipe and then cut and then sometimes there'll be shortage i was like no this this is not so right you need to be using tape measure so you become precise with your uh, measurements and the rest so that you don't have to be wasting material so i i actually had to be around the entire fixing of it to supervise that so that i don't get most of the materials wasted because, because i spent money to buy them but at the end of the day we we're able to achieve a result now one challenge also we had with fixing off the pipes by the rain gutter is that the dropout that came from the rain gutter or the type of the rain gutter being used is a little bit bigger than the normal one which these ones are normally used for industries because I learned they sometimes want to harvest a lot of rains or maybe uh, because based on their roofing there is a lot of water dropping out so you don't want flood happening so they use these sizes for that now the dropout that came from the roof the rain gutter was a little bit bigger than the two inches pipe so it was very very difficult um, being able to fix the, the the pipes directly from the dropout so we had to adopt a different strategy which was connecting a three inches pipe and bends and tees to the gutters that is a dropout and then convert them to two inches so we had to use um, a reducer a three inches to two inches reducer for that which uh, has its downside also because with this particular system or, um, or what has been done it means that there's always going to be some water left in the pipes over there because we are not everything is not coming because the two inches uh, the three inches goes up to the two inches it would have been a different situation if it was rather from the three inches or the two inches coming to three inches so yeah that's um the challenge we encountered with that but that has been sorted at least it's functional which which is good so whatever water is going to be left in it where time is going to evaporate and i'm sure there's nothing going to be in when it's not raining so that is basically how we went about that and that was also one thing i realized about uh, the plumber who was not using tape measure to um, do his cutting just take the material just cut and even giving an estimate on materials you're supposed to buy they just come look at it and tell you you should buy this quantity of pipes and the rest and when they are working with it also some don't really use uh, tape measure, which is not bad so if you have not just a plumber if you have any artisan like that i think you should really advise them to stick to using tape measure because one thing 
um, I learned, especially having a chance to uh, participate in a one year metal fabrication course was precision. So precision metal fabrication, which means that you have to be precise with your cutting list. You have to be precise with your um, your cutting, your materials and everything. So at the end of the day, you don't run at a loss. If you are an entrepreneur, you have your own business or you don't over buy materials, which is going to end up becoming waste. So basically, this is just an overview about how the plumbing works has been so far what went into it some ideas i've got as well as how much we spent for the plumbing so if you've got any questions that i might have not tackled um, in this video maybe you can just drop it in the comment section and i'll do well to either respond to it or make a video about it so that will be about it for this video thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one